Every year since 1974, the Michigan State Police have been conducting an annual vehicle evaluation. The purpose of this evaluation is to provide the law enforcement community the most objective data that will assist them in making the best purchasing decisions for their agencies. The testing program consists of seven events. Top speed, acceleration, braking, vehicle dynamics, ergonomics, communication, and fuel economy. The top speed and acceleration portion of vehicle test takes place at Chrysler Proving Grounds in Chelsea, Michigan. It's a 4.7 mile high speed oval with 140 mile an hour neutral steer bank on both ends with two straightaways on the northbound and the southbound lanes. We combine several tests into one. We do a 0 to 60, 0 to 80, and a 0 to 100. And then we use a 14 mile loop with that same track uh, to attain top speed in the patrol car. Uh, this facility lets us really push those cars hard because it's, there's no barriers, no, no other traffic. So we can, uh, we got plenty of growth space there for the cars to, uh, to reach their full potential. Our brake testing is conducted at the Chrysler Proving Grounds on their east-west straightaway. It's a concrete straightaway that's 1.6 miles in length. Each vehicle that is tested is accelerated to 60 miles an hour, leveled off, and then stopped at a predetermined point on that 1.6 mile straightaway. The car's fitted with Daytron um, optical non-contact light sensors which bounce a light signal off the ground and back to the sensor and is able to determine how far we traveled um, from the time that the brakes are activated on the vehicle until we come to a complete stop. It also measures our, our forward speed so it knows exactly how fast we were going when the brakes were applied and how far exactly how far it was until the car came to a complete stop. Vehicle dynamics allows us to test the overall capability of that vehicle. We're testing the brakes on the car, we're testing its acceleration, we're also testing its cornering ability through curves and turns, and we do that at the Grattan Raceway. It's a two mile road course uh, comprised of 13 turns. There's a, some elevation changes that occur out on that course, so some real world things that we can apply to a test facility that a police officer is going to encounter out on the street uh, if they're in a pursuit or an emergency situation. So the dynamics testing really tests the overall capability of that vehicle and how well it's going to perform in a pursuit or an emergency situation. Ergonomics and communications portions of the vehicle test take into account uh, the comfort zone of the car and how easily the controls are accessed or the visibility outside the car, how well you can see in the mirrors and, and backing, uh, those different things, the creature comforts of the patrol car. Since the police officers in the car eight hours a day want to make sure that the patrol car is not only a safe and reliable car, but it's also comfortable too for the police officer. And then the communications evaluation is done by our professional radio techs, and they decide how easy it would be to or not be to install aftermarket police radios, sirens, in-car cameras. Fuel economy for the cars is basically taken from the window sticker from the EPA rating, uh, much like you would if you bought a, a car off the lot, although it's unheard of to think that those police cars are going to get that kind of a fuel economy in the real world. 
but it's a good comparison model for uh, police car to police car. It's a great honor to be part of the Michigan State Police Vehicle Test because everyone who knows anything about police cars around the country knows that this is one of the two tests that these cars get put through. So it's important for, for me and for our entire unit to publish the, the absolute most accurate data we possibly can. A lot has changed since 1974. The vehicles have become more sophisticated and our testing has improved. The objective data that we supply allows the auto manufacturers to continually make improvements upon their vehicles. And it allows the law enforcement community to make the best purchasing decisions possible.